Good morning, friends. Good morning, Miss Erin. We have been really building our power of three, coming up with ways that we can take care of ourselves, take care of each other, and take care of our classroom. And we also have been working on being responsible during stations. I've noticed you guys doing an excellent job on your own, with your friends, and in the classroom during station time. So today we're going to introduce a new station, buddy reading. A buddy is another word for a friend. So in buddy reading, we get to read books with our friends. So fun, right? Yes! And buddy reading is a great time to practice taking care of each other. Okay, so as we're enjoying our books with our friends, it's also an important opportunity for us to practice our reading skills and strategies that we're learning and working on. In order for us to best take care of each other during buddy reading, Avery and I are going to model for you how buddy reading goes. So your job is to look and listen really carefully so that you can notice the ways that friends take care of each other during buddy reading. Come, come on up, Avery. Okay, hi, Avery. Hi. I'm so happy we're reading yeah. buddies. So I'm gonna choose the first book and then you'll choose the next book, okay? So I'm glad that we're sitting next to each other so that we can hold the book in between us. And this way we can both see the book. We can both look at the pictures. We can both look at the words. So I chose this book. I'll read this one. You follow along and help me maybe if I need some help. And then next time you'll choose the book and you'll read it and I'll follow along with you, okay? So this book is called My Garden. Maybe you could turn the pages for me too. I find a pot. I have flowers. Flowers go in the pot. I have water. Water goes on the flowers. I have a little garden. My little garden gets big. Wow, that ending is my favorite part. She did all those things to take care of her flowers and now she has a big garden. What was your favorite part? When she got more. Oh, can you find that part again? Where was that? Oh yeah, when she was getting the water. I like that part too. Awesome. So next time you'll choose the book and read while I follow along with you, okay? Thanks, buddy. So think in your head what were some ways that Avery and I were taking care of each other as friends to make our buddy reading successful and go smoothly? Hmm. We're going to make an anchor chart as we notice these things so that we're all clear on how friends take care of each other during buddy reading. One thing I noticed that we were doing during buddy reading was sitting next to each other because we're friends reading together, so we were sitting side by side. So that'll be the first thing that we add to our chart. Here's two buddies sitting side by side. During buddy reading, friends sit side by side. What's another thing that we noticed during buddy reading? Who chose the book that time? Yeah. Avery. I chose the book that time, right? But Avery was going to choose the next book. So when we're buddy reading, when we're reading books with our friends, we want to take turns choosing one book. Okay? So let's add that to our anchor chart as well. Okay, so here's two buddies and one buddy is choosing one book, and the next time, the other buddy is going to choose one book. We want to take turns. It's a great way of taking care of each other. Take turns 
choosing. One. And where were we holding the book once we chose it? Where were we holding the book? Off to the side? In the middle. In the middle. We were holding it in the middle. Why do you think that's important to hold the book in between the friends as they're reading together? Yeah, so both people can see the book. Both Avery and I were able to look at the pictures and look at the words. So there's really two things now that we're adding to our chart, right? The first thing here is that during buddy reading, friends hold the book. Perfect, I love it. And we said that that was an important thing to do so that both buddies can look at the pictures and look at the words, right? <coughs> so here are both buddies' eyes, able to see the pictures, able to see the words in the book. So friends also look at the pictures. Pictures. It's a long word. It is a little long. Pictures and words. And finally, who was reading the book that time? Bryson? We were both looking at the book and who was saying the words out loud? I was, and who's going to read the book out loud next time? Avery. Avery. So it's important to take care of each other during buddy reading by taking turns. So if I'm reading the book this time, my partner's going to read the book next time. I'm going to go back and forth like that, or taking Yaka, turns. Or Yaka, um, read the book at, or somebody can read it. So you can see in this picture, one buddy's mouth is open reading the words and the other buddy is listening and following along and next time they're going to switch. And turning the pages. Friends take turns, turns. Talking. Talking. Reading. reading. Reading the book. The book. The book. Okay. Wow friends, so you noticed all these ways that we can take care of each other during buddy reading. We can sit side by side, take turns choosing one book, hold the book between, look at the pictures and the words, and take turns reading. So when we take care of each other in this way and we're really responsible during buddy reading, we can make the most of this time to practice our reading skills and strategies and enjoy books with our friends. And we can always come back to this chart if we ever need to remind ourselves ways that friends take care of each other while they're buddy reading together. So friends, now it's your turn to practice reading with a buddy. Everyone knows who their reading buddy is. And um, two friends are not here today, so Nijay and Tristan, you'll be buddies for today. So everyone knows where their book baskets are, and everyone knows where their special reading spot is in the room. And if you forget or you need a reminder, you can just refer to this chart, okay? And you also can refer to the anchor chart that we just built together to remind yourself of how to take care of your friends during buddy reading. So when I call you and your buddy, you can get your book baskets, go to your spot, and really get started reading right away with your buddy so that you can really make the most of this pre precious time together. And when it's time to end buddy reading for now, I'll give you the signal and you respond. So I'll say, macaroni and cheese. Everybody free. Perfect, and after the signal, you'll put your book baskets away 
and you and your buddy will return to the rug quickly and quietly so that we can share about our experience. Okay, so Nijay and Tristan, you may get your book baskets. Get to your spot. Janae and Madison, you can get your baskets and get started buddy reading. Avery and Rain. Wow, look at these buddies. You buddies are really taking care of each other the way you're holding the book and taking turns. Macaroni and cheese. Everybody free. Great job, buddies. So now it's time to come back to the carpet. Please put your book baskets away and come sit next to your buddy on the rug. Friends, you did such a wonderful job buddy reading. I saw so many people taking care of their friends. We're gonna read through our chart and if you and your buddy were doing it, you're gonna hold hands and lift them up. So if you and your buddy were sitting side by side, hands up, great, hands down. If you and your buddy were taking turns choosing one book, hands up, great, hands down. And if you and your buddy were taking turns reading, hands up, amazing, hands down. So friends, I think we're ready to add buddy reading to our stations. Because when we take care of each other during buddy reading, it allows us to practice our reading skills and strategies. Plus, we get to have fun reading books with our friends. And we know that when we're all responsible during stations, we all get to do wonderful work together.